Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you all are fine and in good health and state of mind. I am your host Shakir Rahman Khan and I welcome you all from the bottom of my heart. In this video, I will show you how you can install PUBG Mobile 0.16.0 Korean version completely offline including the solution of key mapping or mouse freeze. All you need is to download the APK file for PUBG Korea version and the offline files and you are good to go. This is not the responsibility of query how to in any ways to provide you with the files shown in this video. The channel only shows you how to but if you need help contact me in discord. I will provide the discord invite link in the video description area. Friends, recently YouTube sent me a message regarding the links I provide you telling me it violated their terms of use. As you can see from all the comments in my videos that I always try to help you with authentic information but there are people who can't stop themselves from trying to find ways to hurt others who are working for everyone and themselves. Hence, I decided not to provide links in my video descriptions. From now on, my videos will show you the how to process but query how to won't be liable for providing any links to any softwares or offline files shown in any videos. But if you need help with the software links or offline files that are used in my videos, you can contact me in discord and send me a message in the hash general chat section. I would be glad to help you personally. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, you need to get this file. Okay. It includes the APK and the offline files. So right click on it and I will use a 7 zip program to extract it. So you can also do that. Okay. So just extract it. So here is the extracted folder. So you can see it has the APK file and the other two files, the offline files. So I will just copy this to the drive where the PUBG mobile or the game loop has been installed. And game loop by default is installed in the drive which has the most space. So you can see I have two drives and this drive has the most space. So if I go in there you can see a folder named program files and temp is created. So go inside the temp then tx game download and then mobile game pc shared. Inside this just paste this folder. So if I get inside this folder, you can see there is the APK file for the Korean version and the offline files. So I will just cut this Korean version APK and put it in the main uh, folder of mobile game PC shared. So right click and paste it. So we are done here. Now we need to open the emulator. So I am assuming that you have just installed game loop and created a shortcut of the emulator and nothing has been installed yet. So here you can see I have the emulator open and nothing has been installed. So press the F9 key of your keyboard and these options should pop up. Go to the browser. Search for ES File Explorer, this one. Go to this link by clicking on it. Click on this latest version and then this download. button. So the download of ES File Explorer should start. You can see from here. If I drag it down, 
it is being downloaded. So wait for a few seconds. So click on this, click on next, 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 next and click on install. Click on done, close this browser. Now go inside ES file explorer, click on agree to the privacy policy, click on start now. From here we will go to the folder where our apk file is copied. So click on internal storage, click on this slash forward slash, click on data and then click on share one folder. Here we will file this apk file pubg mobile Korean version. Click on it and click on install. Click on next, next and then click on install. Click on done. Now click on inside the, click, uh, go inside the PUBG mobile folder and copy these two by clicking and holding the mouse, left mouse button on any folder and this should be selected. Simply click on this folder to select it as well. Now click on copy and then click on this home icon, click on internal storage and click on android. Now paste and override these two folders by clicking on paste, clicking on apply to all and clicking on overwrite. If the Android folder is empty, I mean it doesn't have the data and OBB folder, no problem, simply paste the, uh, paste the data and OBB we just copied to this Android folder, okay? Now click on exit to close ES file explorer. Now we can run the game by clicking on the PUBG mobile icon. When it asks for permission just click on OK. I will just click on guest to show you. The game has loaded, we are in the lobby. So click on this section where you can choose the maps and you can see right away all the maps is already downloaded. You don't have to download it again. So this is the fun of completely offline installation. If you click on this section from where you can download the resources and the maps, you can see everything is downloaded, right? So that section being said now let's move to the key mapping section or the problem which most of the people faces uh, is that you rotate the mouse and it doesn't rotate 360 degrees so that is a big problem right so to solve it i will go to the training ground and then i will show you in a minute
So here we are in the training mode. Now, if I try to rotate, you can see the mouse is stuck. Okay, I can move left. So if I move right, from this point on, I am not moving right. It's going upwards and downwards, but not moving right. So to solve this problem, all you need is go to controls. So first, I will press control to release the mouse and then click on controls or go to settings actually. I'm sorry. So go to settings and then controls. Click on customize. Click on this settings. Apply layout to. Close this. Save it. Click on exit. Click on close. Same problem, right? Okay. I haven't showed show, showed it yet. So now press and press on control to release the mouse. Click on this key mapping button. I'll just move it a little bit to the left. Now you can see the aiming is set here, right? So if I click on reset, yeah, it is the default position. Okay. So I will just click on this tick box that says aiming enabled. So it is released, right? Now click on it again. You can see the position is changed, right? I will just bring it to the position where it was and change it from right click to control by pressing or clicking on this right click and then pressing the control key in my keyboard. So with that set, I will just click on save and now press control. And now you can see, I can just simply move easily, completely 360 degree. So that's solved. I'll just test that if everything works fine as well. Okay. Just be with me. So you can see everything is working great. Okay. So if you even press F11, the screen will go full screen. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you have learned stuff. Okay. So thanks for watching again. Do like, subscribe and comment. And most importantly, don't uh, forget to click on the bell icon to receive notifications of every video I make and never miss it. Okay. So good luck.